from an artificial neuron that can control the Venus flytrap to a cosmic dance between two supermassive black holes orbiting each other. These are some of the stories that we talk about on this episode of Scientifix. I am Mohana Basu and every week on The Prince Scientifix, I take you through some of the top science stories of the week from across the globe. In a first, scientists created an artificial organic neuron, a nerve cell that can be integrated with the carnivorous Venus flytrap with electrical pulses from the artificial nerve cell causing the plant's leaves to close. The neuron is made from printed organic electrochemical transistors. Organic semiconductors can conduct electrons and ions and can thus mimic the mechanism of pulse generation in plants. In this case, a small electric pulse of less than 0.6 volt can cause the leaves of a Venus flytrap to close. The team chose the Venus flytrap so that they could clearly show how biological systems can be steered with the artificial organic system. This team at Linkoping University became the first to develop printable organic electrochemical circuits in 2018. This made it possible to build printed organic electrochemical transistors. The group has subsequently optimized the organic transistors so that they can be manufactured in printing presses on thin plastic foil. Thousands of transistors can be printed on a single plastic substrate. The hope is that eventually these artificial nerve cells can be used for sensitive human prosthesis, implantable systems for relieving neurological diseases and soft intelligent robotics. Also this week, Chinese scientists have spotted several translucent spherical and dumbbell-shaped glassy globules in images beamed back by China's lunar mission to the moon Chang'e 4. The team examined images taken by the panorama camera on board the U-22 rover. Perching on the surface, the globules are transparent to translucent and they exhibit a light brownish colour. This is the first time such centimetre-sized translucent glass globules have been found on the moon. Tectite and microtectites are types of glasses that form during terrestrial impact events. However, the team did not expect to see such translucent glass globules at the Chang E4's landing region. Centimetre-sized glassy globules have been collected by Apollo astronauts, but they are mostly dark and opaque. Chang E5's mission has also collected opaque globules from the moon, but all of them measure less than a centimetre. Along the less than 700 meter route of U22 that was accomplished in its first 12 lunar days, at least two such globules were confirmed and another two possible cases are awaited to be confirmed. The team found that the globules are well consistent with being impact glasses sourced from materials that have low iron content. Also this week, astronomers have identified the closest source of mysterious flashes in the sky called fast radio bursts. The team found that the bursts are made among old stars in nearby spiral galaxy M81, the closest of its kind to Earth. Fast radio bursts are unpredictable, extremely short flashes of light from space. Astronomers have struggled to understand them ever since they were first discovered in 2007. So far, they have only ever been seen by radio telescopes. Each flash lasts only thousands of a second, but each one sends out as much energy as the sun gives out in one day. Several hundreds of flashes go off every day and they have been seen all over the sky. Most lie at huge distances from Earth in galaxies billions of light years away. Researchers made high-precision measurements of a repeating burst source discovered in January 2020 in the constellation of Ursa Major, the Great Bear. When they analysed their measurements, the astronomers discovered that repeated radio flashes were coming from somewhere no one had expected. They traced the bursts to the outskirts of the nearby spiral galaxy Messier 81, about 12 million light years away. That makes this the closest ever detection of a source of fast radio bursts. Researchers in Japan have developed a way to improve crop quality without needing to create genetically modified plants. Rather than changing plant genomes, the new technique relies on a spray that introduces bioactive molecules into plant cells through their leaves. 
The new technology could be used to help crops resist pests or become more resistant to drought in less time and at less cost than creating genetically modified crops. The technique uses bioactive compound which is taken into the plant cell by a carrier that can penetrate the cell walls of plant cells instead of using genetic editing. Many types of nanoparticles can penetrate plant cells. The researchers focused on cell penetrating peptides because they can also target specific structures inside plant cells such as chloroplasts. Also this week, scientists have discovered a pair of supermassive black holes locked in a cosmic vault 9 billion light years away. The two giant bodies each have masses that are hundreds of millions of times larger than that of our sun and the objects are separated by a distance roughly 50 times that which separates our sun and Pluto. When the pair merge in roughly 10,000 years, the titanic collision is expected to shake space and time itself, sending gravitational waves across the universe. This is now the second known candidate for a pair of supermassive black holes caught in the act of merging. The first candidate pair is circling every nine years as opposed to the new pair discovered, which takes two years. This is Mohana Basu, special correspondent at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.